Okay, back. <laughs> <laughs> Our carbonations were delicious. Ow. What? You survived that? I guess. His, knee, his knees are broken Yeah, now. you're you're gonna have to go to the hospital for sure. Ooh. Ooh. Spoopy. Not liking this. Super spoopy. I wonder if you would just survive this fall. You've been surviving some suspicious. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know for science. Yeah, I was seeing if there was a faster way. There's always a fast. Gravity is the fastest way. Yes. <laughs> I, th I didn't know where it was going to put you. Ooh. All right, his knee, knees are broken again. Yeah. Yes. All right. Like that, that was happen. that was smart. I wouldn't just rip your wrists out of your. Throat. That's how impatient I am. I'm like, let's try to fall <laughs> as far down in this chain as we can. I mean, it worked. I can't believe it worked. And he's skipping with joy now. I did it. My ankles still work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is incredibly painful. Ow. <laughs> no one's telling me to do it, but I'm just so Help! excited. <laughs> the adrenaline masks the pain. <laughs> <laughs> He probably wouldn't sound like that if he's 12, you know? Or 8 or 10 or 14. Yeah. You never know. He's one of those. <laughs> Alright, stupid dog. Oh. Hopefully those dogs can't swim. So how long is this game? Beginning. Is it like real long? I mean, probably like a third of the way through. No, a quarter, a quarter of the way. I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. Oh, There's definitely gosh. certain... Like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, dude. It's <laughs> so violent. Hey, you know what I thought would be fun to do that I meant to do, like, starting episode two, but here we are in, like, probably, like, seven or eight. What? So I found a list of these emotions that we all feel, but they're hard to describe. We don't, you, like, you don't know the names of them. And I just thought they were so weird, and I wanted to read some of them off while you get eaten by a dog. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, Sonder is the first one. Sonder is the realization that each passerby has a life as vivid and complex as your own. That's... How weird is that? It's pretty weird. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, these are all a thing. Opia is the ambiguous intensity of looking someone in the eye, which can feel simultaneously invasive and vulnerable. Yeah, that, that's... yeah. Uh, eye are contact these, is weird. Are these helping your dog concentration? I've only died a couple times. <laughs> uh, monocopsis is the subtle but persistent feeling of being out of place. Like Timmy probably feels. Nah, Timmy's right at home. <laughs> He's where he belongs. Alright. <laughs> well, down there you can probably find some gnomant, yes. which is the bittersweetness of having arrived in the future. Seeing how things turn out, but not being able to tell your past self. Hmm. These what? are so weird, right? What was that one called? Uh, that's called Nat Nat Noement. Very specific. Um... N O U E M E N T. Hmm. I sh I'm probably saying most of these wrong. Uh. Yeah. What do you do about the dog? I don't know, cause now it just swims towards me, right? Actually, I, I know what to do about the dog, so I'm going to let you struggle while I read some more emotions. Uh, Velicor. Alright, I think I know what to do. That, that just probably wasn't enough time. Actually, oh, that seemed to be enough Velicor time. Velicor is, I think, something we've all felt. The strange wistfulness of used bookshops. Interesting. It's so, like, specific. God. How is that an emotion? Oh! Wow. I'm actually going to... I'm gonna save some of these emotions for later, cause I think I think you probably need to concentrate on this right now. <laughs> like, what do you do? Oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that was a great idea. Oh! It just did not work. They just like dragged me. Oh my Christ. Yeah. Oh god, that one all is right. like Alright. It's horrifying. Weren't those some weird emotions that we all feel? Yeah. That everybody feels all There's the time. There's twenty-three of those, only red five. 
there so fast. That makes me so nervous oh even trying god, that. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. They like have to get over here to see. They're like, no, we can't. And now can I just go and they won't turn around? Uh, nope. Nope. All right. Oh Don't my God, fall. Like fell. Well, it's fine because either way, I gotta this get him rough. over. This is rough. I have to get him all the way up here. I'm not intended. Now I just have to figure out if I have enough time to do the whole board at once, or if I gotta do it in segments. I can tell you that I know the answer. I gotta do it in segments. I can already tell. <laughs> I have the answer now. All right. Well, now that you figured that shit out. <laughs> 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 Time to go back to some rubitosis. Well, you've definitely felt this one. It's the unsettling awareness of your own heartbeat. Um, yeah, like every day. Yeah. Uh, Canopsia is the eerie, forlorn atmosphere of a place that is usually bustling with people, but is now abandoned and quiet. Hmm. Is that not this entire game? Yeah. I mean, this probably isn't usually bustling with people, but... Okay. I am going to butcher the pronunciation of this one. And you're going to laugh at how it probably is really pronounced. But it's Mauer Bauer Trauerigkeit. <laughs> Let me see it. It's seriously number eight. Mauer Bauer Trauer Bauer. <laughs> See? I don't know, dude. That is pretty weird. And that is the inexplicable urge to push people away, even close friends who you really like. Hmm, that doesn't really happen. It happens to some people. No, it doesn't happen to anyone ever. This is Jouska. <laughs> Jouska! It's a form of jousting <laughs> that you know. Uh, a hypothetical conversation uh. that you compulsively play out in your head. Hmm. Did you get strangled? Yeah. See, I'm looking down reading these. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, here. I just got strangled. Well, I strangled. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you handle more of these, or do you need to concentrate? I think, I think I can handle more. I think. If I die one or two more times at this part, then I I'm I think dead. they've got a meeting. I don't want to have. I want to wait for. as long as possible because I. All right. Well, they're facing away. I should be good because I don't want to have to keep rewatching all that. Hey, I, f I feel you, man. Oh, don't kill me. Okay, good. Uh, chrysalism is the amniotic tranquility of being indoors during a thunderstorm. Yeah. That's a real one. Mm hmm. I love thunderstorms. Certainly not like Mauer, Bauer, Trauer, Austin Powers. Vendelin is the frustration of photographing something amazing. And thousands of identical photos already exist. Hmm. I feel like that's a photographer's woe. Yeah. And not really something that the average Jacob really worries about. <laughs> uh, anecdote. A conversation in which everyone is talking, but nobody is listening. That's just, just my whole life. <laughs> that's, that's, what? Everybody's talking, but nobody hears shit. Ellipism, ell ellipsism, ellipsism, is a sadness that you'll never be able to know how history will turn out. Probably a historian's trouble. <laughs> or something that Nostradamus worried about if he was predicting stuff wrong. Yeah, Nostradamus is wrong. Uh, do you need help? Because I'm pretty sure you're past the point of hints. Oh, I don't want any hints, no. All right, I'm, just, all right. I'm, I'm just testing what... This you test scary. away, buddy. I am only halfway through. Well, a little more than halfway. Oh, see, I had no way to know Whoa, what. Oh, okay. Now I'm kind of intrigued. What yeah, I, I had no way to know like what that was doing, but when I pressed the jump button, it was like, like vibrating it, and then it like, I like shot it down. I guess. I think you just beat the game. I'm like in the ocean. This is kind of scary. So, Cubico is a state of exhaustion inspired by acts of senseless violence. What is it? Probably what Batman felt. Cuebico. Hmm. Or no, 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 no. He doesn't feel that. 
his villains feel that. Hmm. State of exhaustion inspired by acts of senseless violence. He probably feels exhaustion from other people causing violence. Yeah. Lacticism is the desire to be struck by disaster, <laughs> to survive a plane crash, or to lose everything in a fire. That is mental illness. Hmm. Why would anybody want horror to fall them? I was just looking up about that Malaysia 370 flight that disappeared. Yeah. It, it's actually really interesting. Yeah. I remember hearing all about that. Wasn't it like shot down by a Russian missile? No, it, it, that's if that's one of the conspiracies, that's I mean, I, that could be true. Like I, that could actually be a conspiracy, but I don't think that's what happened. If it is that I'm pretty sure uh, I think what the what the most likely thing is, is that the pilot like suicided the plane. What a unless what we're a thinking of diff, unless we're thinking of different ones. Wait, what? Uh, like, why would anybody do that? Yeah, I don't know. They because they said that like the second he left the air or the radio area for the one place and was going to go to the next one like after like a minute and 40 seconds like all the signals like turned off and then he made like a big u-turn and they said something about like maybe that like depressurized the cabin that would have like killed everybody Jeez. like on board um and they said that like the gas mat or the oxygen tanks mask things they have only last for like 15 minutes but like the ones for the captain and the co-pilot were like a lot longer mm -hmm. so that that might be true i don't know but then it flew for like six more hours and then ended up like somewhere completely different and that's crazy all right this is all right well i want to talk about that more after these carbonations a little bit of carbonation in my <laughs> all right <laughs> we'll see you in the next one everybody bye